In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five or 10 hanging options infographic slide in PowerPoint. In this particular example, I'm going to show you the five hanging options. As you can see here, I've created kind of a rope here. When I click, it will show you the option one, two, three, four, and five with different color combination. And I have created one more slide where I've added two ropes and then like this, the animation comes. So depending on the requirement, you can just choose either the option with uh, the slide with five options or the slide with 10 options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to choose the curve. Just click it on the left side, the top left side here. Click once and bring the cursor, not the straight up, bring the cursor a little bit down. Okay. And then bring it somewhat up and double click that one again, how much you want. If you want more, you can just bend it like this, but I don't want to bend too much. So I want only this much double click to release it shape outline, make it black and increase the weight. So how much weight you want, you can just increase the weight. The next thing which I'm going to do is go to the insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the last one, which is the diagonal corner surrounded, draw a rectangle maybe this much size you can see here again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size then go to rotate and then i'm going to make it flip vertical and you can see the two small orange point take the orange point from the left and make it more curve okay and then shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can fill with any color of your choice all right and then i'm going to place it exactly on top of this one this line so the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hole here. Okay. So let me just make it this much tilt only. So go to the insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the small oval shape by holding the shift key, shape outline, no outline. Let me just zoom in and I'm going to place it here. You can see. All right. The next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select this one merge shape and subtract so you can see here the hole has been created and i would like to cut this area also for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a small rectangle all right and tilt a little bit you can see here shape outline make it no outline then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape i'm going to subtract so i end up getting it looks like that it is hanging here all right so the next thing which we can do is go to insert text box and i'm going to insert the title here make it center align make it bold make the font white and put it here like this and then go to the insert text box again and add detail text here center align white font reduce the font size sorry select this one bring it here and then go to the insert icons any icon of your choice you can just choose from the icons so here i'm just going to choose some icons which is related to what I'm doing so again depending on your requirement you have to choose the icons okay for example I'm going to choose the icon of this map and click insert and you can see here the map is inserted I can reduce the size I can make it 0.5 smaller drag and put it here again for this also you can make it white so once this is done if you want to give some shadow effect all those things you can do it but i'm not going to do that one i'm going to select all these shapes except this line press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side and select only this one give some different color now whichever color you feel okay so i can give a little bit gap press ctrl d again move it here again you need to tilt a little bit to fit 
all right you can see here then this one i'm going to give a maybe a purple press ctrl d move this aside tilt a little bit you can see here and then for this one i'm going to give maybe a kind of sorry let me just give light green and here also it is copied so for this one i should say no fill okay here also no fill because when i'm doing that one it is copied here okay that's the reason and then if you want to add more you can just add one more also it depend on your requirement so once this is done as you can see here i have made it like this also which you can do it so but let me just do the animation first for this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one two three four without the lines and i'm going to just say fly in either you can just say fly in from left or right maybe i'm going to select from left so it comes like this if you want you can make it on click also all right so this is one way of doing that one the other slide what i did for this one is let me just duplicate this one and i'm going to select all the shapes press ctrl g to group it the moment you group it remember all the animation will go okay so then now i'm going to just tilt a little bit like this you can see here pull this up press ctrl d to duplicate pull this down and i'm going to keep it here so you can just adjust it according to the requirement it doesn't matter if this goes outside of the slide area okay so like this you can do it and then ungroup this one and do the same animation what we did here 